Welcome back. Let's get things started out there on this Monday morning over in parts of the Tomahawk area. We have clouds moving through. We have rain showers taking place as well. And maybe even a few rumbles of thunder across parts of the Badger State as well. But for now, most of that's taking place along and south of the Rhinelander area with even some thunderstorms now developing across parts of Adams County. So we'll be keeping an eye on this uh, throughout the daytime period today as it tracks in from the southwest and goes to the north and east. So it's not just us. We have a little bit over in parts of Iowa too but a good part of the Badger State just seeing some regular rain showers this morning. The thunders are for now staying across Adams County. Areas to the south, we're seeing some storms across parts of Iowa as well. And also the parts of Oklahoma and Kansas, although, although it looks like those storms are starting to weaken as they track off towards the east at this time. Futurecast moving forward, we have rain showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder for today as we head towards the afternoon period. Things start to back off. We might even get some sunshine peaking out during the afternoon as well before more clouds move in later on tonight. We might get some areas of dense fog as well, along with a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms. No big deal with that either. Just don't be surprised if you notice that with a few storms again later on tonight. But as we head towards tomorrow, again, sunshine and clouds mixed, and then this is where it gets interesting. By around 5 to 6 o'clock or so, we'll be watching for scattered strong to severe thunderstorms that will be developing, tracking up from the west, going toward the east during the afternoon and evening time frame. Those will start to get out of here close to midnight, early Wednesday morning, with a few leftover rain showers as we head towards Wednesday with some gusty winds as well. Now there is a threat for some of the storms to get on a stronger side for today. It's a lower threat, a one out of five risk or a marginal threat. Maybe some gusty winds and a little bit of hail and heavy downpours before we're all finished up. There are more concerned about tomorrow because we do have that slight risk across most of our, if not all of our viewing area here. So large hail and damaging winds will be the primary threats. Maybe an isolated tornado there. But this right about in here is an enhanced risk, a three out of five risk. So large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes are possible. They're a stronger threat with that. And of course, heavy downpours to watch out for here. So the threat is higher where my fingers are at for the enhanced risk, but in the slight risk area, just a little bit lower. But everyone will need to keep an eye to the sky Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. On top of that, we'll have moisture to work with, though. Dew points will be rising today and tomorrow into the lower to middle 60s. So it will feel a little bit more muggy as well. Perfect for storms to work with before it falls back down Wednesday into Thursday. And then for your Friday, things start to increase again back in the lower to maybe middle 60s as well for dew points. So we'll start to know notice that moisture again. We do have some more rainfall that will be on the way for us today, maybe up to a quarter to maybe a half inch before we're all finished up. But then for tomorrow and a tomorrow night, a heavy downpours are also possible with one to maybe two inches of rain possible before we're all finished up and maybe higher amounts further off towards the south and west. So on top of the severe threat for tomorrow, heavy rainfall will also be an issue. But for temperatures right now, we're in the middle to upper 50s, pretty much area wide, and we're noticing the moisture out there as well. So you might notice that as you step out the door this morning as our average high temperature is 68 degrees. We'll do upper 60s today, maybe some lower 70s in a few spots. We'll do lower 70s Tuesday. We cool off in the lower 60s Wednesday. We stay in the 60s Thursday, Friday, also in the Saturday, but then we're back in the lower 70s again as we head towards your Sunday. So for today, here we go. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms possible with highs in the upper 60s and at south wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour at times. Overnight tonight, clouds and fog on the way, maybe a few showers and storms as well with lows in the lower 50s in the wind overall looking nice and calm. Northwoods Furniture and Mattress seven day forecast scattered strong and severe thunderstorms possible late Tuesday afternoon into the evening with highs in the lower 70s. Be careful with large hail damaging winds and maybe some tornadoes as well. On top of that, even some heavy downpours could occur too. By Wednesday, we'll switch over to a few rain showers. Thursday and a Friday, we're looking dry temperatures in the 60s and more rain showers as we head towards the weekend.